right, so welcome back. This is video two as far as just talking a little bit more about setting up a website. One thing I've also gotten some questions on is, well, where do I find graphics? Do I have to make my own? You don't have to make your own at all. Um, I'm gonna provide a link in the week 10 folder to a website that is called Pixabay. And it is P-I-X-A-B-A-Y.com. And what this uh, website, it's almost like a Google for free videos and images and vector graphics. As in, these are Creative Commons. Um, you don't have to pay anybody to use them. So you, st and you don't even have to make an account either, just to point that out. Um, so you can see here, you have a main search area. And on the drop down here, you can search for images. Uh, so if I click on images, and since my website is about turtles, I will go ahead and type turtles. Here you can see I have 1,946 free images of turtles. So I can go through here and kind of pick out which ones I like, which ones I think would work well with my website, um, and just download them. So just to take you through this process and working with Pixabay, I'm going to go ahead and pick a turtle. Uh, we'll go with this one and you can see here that you have a free download button so if I click on this it's gonna give me several options here because we're working with the web I'd strongly encourage you go as small as you can yes you can change the height and width with your attributes uh, but this will kind of get you halfway there without having to rely on something like Adobe Photoshop or Illustrator or GIMP to edit your images if you don't want to get into that. So I'm going to go ahead here. I am going to choose the smallest value. Now, what you may get is you may also get one of those CAPTCHA type of things asking you to find all of the road signs or find all of the pictures that have a car in it. Once you do that the first time on the website, you won't have to do that anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and download and I'm gonna click here. I'm in Chrome and I'm gonna say show in folder. All right, so I'm gonna call this, I'm gonna click on the name or rename. We're gonna call this C Turtle. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut my graphic and I'm now gonna navigate back to my website demo here. And we're gonna paste my graphic in here. So now I can come back here and let's go back into Atom where what I've done also is I built a little bit more here and I'm on the about document, about.html, where I just pulled some text from Wikipedia here and maybe I decide that um, in the middle of here I would like to have a picture of a turtle and you can already see an atom it's updated with the image here so I have my sea turtle graphics so maybe right before the end here where the study of turtles actually you know what we'll put it right at the bottom so maybe I do image source now remember do not forget if you're working in folders we need to tell it to look in your IMG folder and look for the file cturtle.jpg alt tag and I'm gonna say C turtle all right so let's go ahead here now and we're gonna come back to our turtle website I'm gonna refresh and let's go into about turtles here. And here you can see my picture is popping up. I could get a little bit fancier here. I could actually come in and do a line center, do a control S for a save, um, and kind of edit that document as we work through there. And whoops, I actually want to put that in a div. So change that out there there we go all right there we go so you could also too now if you wanted to get a little bit fancier again in your image tag you could come in change that height 
that width, etc. You know, but we got it as small as possible, going to 640 pixels by 480 pixels, just from a straight download. So again, that website is Pixabay. Also, if you want to uh, go the route as far as the incorporation of videos, uh, you can also download some videos too. So here I did just, I clicked on the drop down for the search. I went to videos. Um, be careful sometimes, with, depending on what you're working on, you may get these sponsored images or videos from Shutterstock. You need to get out of that gray area and come on down to where the free ones are. So here you can see somebody did the little march of the sea turtles and stuff and I could actually come in and just do a free download of this and then you can use your media tags and implement that as well one other thing I want to show you though before I get into the media here we will go ahead and I'm gonna rename this to turtle march and we will hold on to this here so I'm going to do a cut and come back to my website here and we're just going to paste it right in this base here for right now one other thing I just wanted to touch briefly on here also is just coming back to the about page notice um, I don't have contact us active what I've done is I've made the other web kind of template pages, but none of them are working with as far as the overall design and layout here. So with that in mind here, I'd like to just briefly go over in this video as far as, okay, so I need to make one more web page. How can I go about doing that? Um, you do have a couple of options. If you kind of started out similar here where you kind of had a baseline web page that had your links, uh, any type of graphics, uh, just content that you can go in and delete. You could actually just duplicate the page and then go to each of the sub pages and change that over to be a kind of content page. So let me go ahead and demo that here. I'm going to build off of the index page. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hit the D key to duplicate and I'm going to make that contact page. So as you can see right now, I am on contact us. So I'm going to go ahead and change this header one tag here. Contact us for more information. Now from this contact page here, I really don't need any of that old content from the index page. So here I have now cleared out, I have room to make a form. But one thing we need to add in here now is if you go into that navigation div, you need to add in an anchor hypertext reference to index.html so that if a user comes to this page and they decide, hey, I want to not be here or I'd like to go back to the home page, they will still be able to do that. The biggest drawback to this process here, though, is notice now I'm going to have to go into my home page, my index. I got to come to the end where I have that contact us. Again, a href. And I called it, what did I call it? Contact.html. And again, don't forget that closing A tag there at the end. And then I need to also go through, and it helps me to close out the pages that I've done. I need to come in, I need to do the about page. So A, href, contact.html. save that page I need to do pics and I think I need to do the save page yep so just come into pics I'm gonna do a href contact.html close out my anchor tag and do the same 
on the save page. And again, in the previous exercises, these were the site maps and the site wireframes. This is what you were kind of setting up visually from a web design standpoint. So if that helps, you know, definitely, you know, it is, you know, I'd encourage you, you know, definitely lay out your website using that method before you dive in. Um, you know, so now if I go ahead and re-preview my website here, there you can see I now have that active contact page that now I can click through and pretty much anywhere in the website that I can navigate here. So that kind of takes you through that process. I'm going to make one more video here that I'm going to talk about some open non-copywritten code that the W3 Schools does offer to folks that you can work with. Um, it is very, very CSS heavy. So I will talk briefly about that. It's not required for the final, but I know that if folks are looking to make a very quick website, uh, the w3.css files are fantastic for being able to get something started quickly in a short amount of time.